got a lot. To, yeah, we. I definitely got a lot to say to you. But what you were saying? Yeah, yeah, I do. No, yeah, no. I mean. Yeah, you have a lot going on. We see you're working. Yeah, um, steady, um, grinding. Um, right. Definitely working to get back in that league. Yeah, I mean, your I style been. is crazy. It is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, who, who dribbling surprised. like you? Like, yeah, like. I haven't seen another person. Another I don't think no I chick is dribbling like woman. that. Like seriously. Yeah. I'm, I'm arguable with a couple of guys. Yeah, you. Right. I mean, you, I mean, I wouldn't even. I, I don't think I would even do that to myself. Like, I wouldn't I even play myself. Tricks. Like, I got yeah. a couple of tricks. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you I definitely. Can I can mingle a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you teaching the youth too. You got a lot of youth foundations that you're working on and doing. Yes, definitely the Shannon Bobby Foundation, and I definitely love teaching them. Uh, this is something I decided to do when I first got cut from the WNBA in 2010. Uh, when I got cut, I didn't even know what to do with myself. I, was, mm. I couldn't believe I got cut. I said, are you kidding me? Yeah. Um, it was just life hit me. And mm. I was like, dang, as hard as I work and as good as I think I am, mm -hmm. options can still come your way. You can still fail, cut, mm -hmm. get cut, get knocked down. But adversity is what's building me as a woman. Right. So yes. I, thought, I thought to myself, what am I going to do? I said, you know what? I'm going to take all my frustration, all my knowledge and energy, and I'm going to help these kids. And then I just started. I just one day started making my own flyer, right, with no experience. My flyer looked a real bootleg. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I don't care. I don't even know who I am. I'm, I'm saying that people know who I am, what I'm about. I started posting them everywhere in the project because that's what I was saying at the time. Yeah. Posting them in everybody's building. Next thing you know, I'm nervous, right, because I don't know what these kids look at me. Right, right. what they think about me. Uh -huh. I came outside that next morning. I had about 50, 60 kids. I said, you got to be kidding me. Wow. I said, but you know what? I'm going to impact their lives. I'm going I'm to inspire them. After that, every year they come to me. Shannon, basketball clinic, Shannon. I'm like, oh, man. So now this upcoming summer will be my seventh annual. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. That's yeah. That is big. And that is powerful. For real. Yeah. So you wanted for the ladies that. too. Yes. Yeah. We wanted to have you up here so we could really like. You know I know. What I mean? like, it was just. It was I know. Just, 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 yeah. <laughs> word. But That's what I'm saying. Guy. Like you know. It, well, here you it, go. Now nah, yeah yeah yeah. Schedule is hectic. We understand. We definitely understand that. But yeah. you, definitely you also like have a I book. I wanted to I'm ask like, you. I'm like man. They didn't call me. I definitely want to. You know, get my story out there. I wanna, I'm right. humble, so I don't feel like I'm better than nobody. To tell you the truth, so I was just like, that's what's up. Let me, let me hit them up. I told my sister, I'm like, hey, I wanna do it. I wanna do it. Oh, you that's know, love. Because I know how it's like to be rejected. You know, and it's not a great feeling. You know, I know I can't help everybody and do everything for everybody, but you know, I try to right. do. I try my best to do it as that's much as I can. But. Yeah. Uh, as far as I uh, have a book coming out. Right, I was I was saying that. Yeah, I decided to write my book when I uh, was in junior college. My grades weren't so good. Okay. And uh, I had to take the JUCO route. Mm. So I'm in JUCO, and it's so boring. I come from <laughs> New York City, a city girl, to Texas. I said, what? <laughs> I have so much time on my hands. Yeah. I said, let me just start writing. Mm. I just write every day. I was writing daily experiences, things that I remember when I was three, four years old, and I just started writing. About four years, five years later, after I was pretty much finished with college, it came together, and now it's a book. And I'm looking forward to birthing that book in the next month or so. It's um, very inspiring. Nice, okay. nice. I mean, so f as far a as right... Of a woman of many trades. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> As far as now, we could pick up the book from you, or you well, waiting right now, to get right that? Right now, it's still getting edited. It's oh, okay, still okay, getting okay. edited right now, and I'm hoping the editing process hurry up because a lot, it's a big demand for my book. Yeah. And I, you won't be surprised how many people would buy my book if I had the physical copy with me now. That's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, that's what I was just asking. Like, believe it or not, you know, we in New York City in this day and age now. People are not giving their money before the product. Right. Yeah, well. People gave me their money. I said, you trust me? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you know my respect level. How yeah. You know right. Now nah, you that nice. Yeah. Thank you. I right. appreciate you, that. I'm an old woman now. I can't move the way I used to. Uh, I, I, yo, that's, that's not old footage. Where? Nah, 
some of that is up to date, new footage, but I'm still a step slow. I'm an old woman. Oh, oh don't say that. Yeah, well, I'm like, wait, hold on, hold on, you now. Happy birthday Sunday. Oh, oh that's wow. what's up. Wow, happy, well, happy early birthday. Thank you. I'm going to be 30. You oh, ain't girl, old. Bye. What the fuck <laughs> are you talking about? Like, right. I'm going to be old. Nah, no, nah, don't dude, say that. What are you talking about? You crazy. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I don't be old, though. Like, Look at her, right? No. Like, nah, you good. Right. You still wow. nice. Wait, hold on. Joe was getting rings at what age? Probably around that age. Nah, hell no. Yeah. Joe was <laughs> older than 30 when he was getting those rings. Yeah, it took Jordan a while. He was, yeah, it took him a while. He's no Kobe now. Yeah, what? <laughs> uh, well, Kobe got it early? Kobe had yeah, it early. Yeah, Kobe, oh, had, Kobe it got it early. So how, how many years you was in the BA before you uh, actually took your yeah, hiatus? Right. Yeah, um, four years in the WNBA, seven years overseas. Oh. And then, then my WNBA season be started to come started to become rocky for some reason. I'm still to this day trying to figure out why. Do you ever like thought about like maybe starting like a league? Like, because I mean you have the Rucker. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you got a bunch of nice chicks. I mean, a nice, like, dudes that didn't make it, but they still, like, hide in the streets. Right. I mean, you ever thought about doing that for, like, people like you that's actually dead nice, but, you know, um, have, like, you know, it's like a, it's like an alternative almost, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I thought about a lot of different things as soon as I'm finished with basketball, but it's hard for me to focus on one so thing. many things when I know basketball, I want to give it another mm. shot with the WNBA. I have to clear my conscience and know that, hey, I worked hard, and if they reject me again, it's really not me, it's you. You know, mm. so it's hard for me to try to venture off into other things because I can't really focus on so many things at once. Right. Mm. I can think about them, I can say this is what I want to do here and that, but if I really focus on doing this tournament or whatever for people and I want it to be great, I have to really focus on that. Mm -hmm. You know, so, but I thought about a lot of things. I thought about, I thought about starting up my own AAU um, team. I thought about running my own basketball facility. You know, I, I love to train, so I feel like I can train really well and I get the best out of players. I feel like I'm really good at that. And, I, you know, I thought about a lot of different things, but I don't want to get so deep into them until I know Shannon Bob is, is done playing. Facts. Right. Well, we definitely got to get yeah. you up here. Yeah, for sure. But I was like, I got to at least have a phone interview or something. Yeah. I, need, I need people to know that, you know, I'm still working hard and my book is coming out. Make sure you gra yeah. grab a copy. For well, sure. For right. well. It was a little Definitely technical difficulty at first. I didn't know who it was. My fault for that. <laughs> I one. know. I'm like, oh, maybe I called the wrong. Well, word now, nah, because you was dead talking with authority. Like, um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm having a good old day. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, um, like, uh, <laughs> yeah. may I actually speaking to? Like, I had right, to catch myself. Say a little more about yourself. Yeah, word. My fault. My fault about that. No worries. I won't tell nobody. We definitely appreciate yes, you calling you in, Shannon. Calling. Keep doing your thing. As soon as you can make it out here, you already yes. know you're always You're welcome. always welcome to BVA. I really appreciate that. But make sure y'all shout out my book. My website is um, available for people to go and make um, a, a purchase. G I really G that. You already know. Thank you. All right, love. 
have a good one. You too. You too. Later, beloved. BBA Radio. Ch- 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 ch-